Piggy Vibe Show. I'm Efia, call me Piggy. I have with me an amazing entrepreneur, a conceptual artist who brings the imagination into reality. Welcome, a reporter. Um, thank you, thank you very much. Well, good to see you. Good to see you. Having too. seen all your works, or having seen few of your works, it's so good to see you in person. You're welcome. <laughs> so, tell us about yourself. Well, my name is Amoku um, Imano. That is the name my parents gave to me. But um, due to the lifestyle um, we, 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 we all had during SHS time, um, I think I got a brand name for myself. That is a reporter. But I've shortened it to AP. You understand? So my brand name is AP Arts, which stands for Aru Potter Arts and Amuakon Pencil Arts. Okay. You get it? Okay. Yes. So that is my name, the name my parents gave to me, and then my brand name. I'm currently a student at University of Education, um, level 300 students. So is it just background? Oh, I, I completed. Wait, so. Okay, 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 okay. I was born and raised in Kogu. I'm, 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 I'm a Pony. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was born and raised in Kogu and I was schooled up from here. Yeah, yeah. I, I lived most of my life in Kogu when I completed Price Senior High School. Yeah, I, I read visual arts there. Yeah. So you are in the same line? Yes. Alright, so why did you choose this profession? Well, um, let me say, I have a passion for art. You know, I discovered that I can do better in art when I was somewhere in basic three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And um, that time, let me see, um, um, I had, or I have an uncle who, who is much into sign writing. I believe you know what sign writing is. No. Well, um, sign writing, let me see, five years or ten years back we were calling them the the, the roadside artists they were writing on the billboards and then on the banners oh okay oh really yeah just that yes <laughs> so he was a sign writer and i was very young by then but by looking how he was executing his works um i got inspired so i decided to learn more about art so i think from basic four to SHS 3, I was drawing illustrations on chalkboards for teaching. So I got inspired by my uncle and I loved to do art. That is why I dived into art. Okay, so now you've, you've told us what inspired you, so your uncle inspired yes, you. Yes, yes. At what time? At what age? Yes, yes, but I wasn't doing any realistic artwork like I'm doing right now. It was, it was more of um, caricature. I believe you know what caricature is. I don't know, educate me, educate Well, well <laughs> let's say it's a cartoon drawing. Okay. You see, previously we were we were being visited by the um, Jehovah Witnesses, and when they come, they give us this form of booklets. Yeah. And in those booklets, you can find some interesting arts in there. I, I started drawing those stuff. That is where it started. Yeah. Okay. I think I think even um back in the uh kindergarten we like we just be we be drawing something yeah. circles, circles yeah. and then that is something like that. Forms. So yeah. that's yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah. I know so I know a little bit. <laughs> sure. Okay, like okay. okay, let me say I've done a little bit of drawing that is not um, more into, but I mean with the kindergarten drawing. Okay, so um, what has been the difficult task you've encountered in your career? Well, uh, how should I put this? Well, let me see. Sometimes when I get when I get commissioned by people to draw for them, they sometimes produce um, images that are pixelated. I believe you understand what I mean by pixelated. I'm lost. <laughs> well, um, pixelated images are images that are blur. Okay. Yeah. You can 
let me give you a typical example. When when somebody sends you an image on WhatsApp and then the image gets forwarded for a very long time, okay. you see that the image is somehow blurred. Oh, okay. Yes. I've encountered so many situations where my clients give me such images to work on for them and okay. it's really, really difficult working with such images. Oh, yeah. There is this term in ICT, WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. If you don't give me a proper image to work on for you, um, it, it makes my work so difficult. Yeah, so I think that is basically the most difficult encounter so far as my career is concerned. Okay. Yeah. Who's your role model? My role model. Oh, I have so many role models. I can't specify one person, but I have so many role models. But there is this guy that I started following on Instagram. The name is Arenzi Stanley. Yeah, he's a Nigerian and um, He's also into pencil works like I'm doing with you. Yeah. The guy is very good. You know, I can sometimes go and then spend hours on this page just staring at the works and then how he produces his works. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, where do you see yourself in the next five years? In the next five years? We are in you know, 2022. So the next five years. 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027. Well, 2027. Well, in the next five years, um, I am planning to organize some form of exhibition. You understand? And that will be somewhere three years or four years from now. And I believe that by the grace of God, if everything comes to pass, I think by five years to come, I'll be one of the most known artists in Ghana here. All right, viewers, I have been educated, you have been educated, so on the screen are his works. What's the concept behind this? Oh. Is the person's hand cut off or? No, 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 no. Um, this one is called um, Help the Need. It's, it's about those people who have some and are not willing to help those who don't have. Yeah, that is the main concept behind it. Okay. Okay. Then this one too is called um my secret sin. As 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 the title goes, um it's it's it talks about some um unholy stuff that people do. I will not mention because some people consider even gayism to be um something normal. So it talks about um the the unholy stuff that people do secretly that we don't know about. Some people are doing it but they don't like it and they would like to um, um halt it or okay. end it or put a stop to it. That is what this work talks about and the title is Secret Sin. Wow. And then um this one is called self restraint. Um the self restraint you can see that um it explains itself. Self restraint talks about we limiting our abilities, you know. Mm. We are human beings, but sometimes um, we limit ourselves and um, um, we refuse to see um, what we can do. Okay. You see, we, we sometimes let um, the progress of some people um, um, hinder our processes, uh, sorry, our progresses. Okay. Yeah, so that is, that is the meaning of this work, and the title is um, Self Restraint. And I have one here, that one is called Hope and Pray. I, I, I did that work when the coronavirus set in. Um, you see, the person is in mask and then, then he's looking upwards. The mask um, talks about we the safety the safety precautions that were laid down by the World Health Organization and then the eye looking up is sure. talking about who we looking up to God because he created us and he's the only one who can um, help us get through this. So that is that I think. I've got some other works. This is a commissioning work. Yeah. This one is um, What I Is Life. It, it's a series. It's a series. It starts from one to five. So um, I think it will be shown on the screen. Oh, wow. Yeah. Amazing concept and meaningful concept. Because if you had asked me, I would have said, especially with the self restraint, I would have said uh, a woman the in, prison in prison or something like that. Okay, so 
Share us uh, your social media handles. Well, um, I'm, I'm on Instagram. I, I post most of my works on Instagram. Okay. And I'm on, I'm, 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 my Instagram handle is at Arupota. A-R-R-O-W-P-O-T-T-E-R. Arupota. They are all in small letters. And I'm on Facebook at Arupota. And then I'm on Twitter at Arupota2. The reason it's Arupota2 is because I created a Twitter account, but I forgot the logins. Okay. So I had to create another one. That is why it's Arupota2. There is no Arupota on Twitter. Yes. So Instagram, Facebook, and then Twitter. The name is Arupota. Yeah. All right. So... I hope you don't mind. I shall pass by one day for a portrait. No worries. All right. All right, so this brings us to the end of the show. I'm Efia, your host. A very big thanks goes to my main director, SK, and my video director, Buka and Robert. See you next time, same time. Love you. Break a leg. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Mwah! I see.